Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial from Addicted to Tech and today we're going to be looking at how to install Clam Antivirus on Linux. We are using Ubuntu Desktop 2004 LTS and we're basically just going to do a straight install and um, show you how to basically use the antivirus and how to install it. I mean, using antivirus on Linux is quite a controversial sort of subject. Um, th there's a camp that says you don't need one. There's a camp saying that, you know, potentially it's not going to do any harm to give it a scan now and then. Um, I've gone into a bit more detail on the website, so if you have a look at the blog on there, that'll, that'll tell you a little bit more um, about whether you should be using antivirus or not. But um, I, I definitely recommend to use it scanning now and then, you know, maybe once a month or something, giving your system a quick scan just gives it a check to make sure that there's nothing hanging around on your system. Um, you know, potentially you could be a threat to other devices on your network. So if you were like hosting a web server, uh, for instance, on your network and it was a gateway system, so your phones were connecting to it, you know, your Android phone, you know, or your Windows machines, um, potentially, you know, that virus can then get into your Windows machines and from there it could spread around your, your network. So it's definitely worth um, having a scan once a month at least and just to make sure there's nothing festering in your system so what we're going to do today is we're just going to fire up the terminal the first thing we're going to do is make sure we're up to date so we're going to do a sudo apt update and then we're going to do a sudo apt upgrade And let's just make sure all our packages are up to date before we start. So we're just going to let that finish now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install ClamAV. So to do that, we're using sudo apt-get install ClamAV. And then press yes. So the next thing we've got to do is to install the Clam daemon. So we're going to basically do sudo apt-get install ClamAV-daemon. And press yes. Okay, so now we're going to try and update Clam AV. This will probably fail out because it, it auto updates normally, but we can try it. Well, there, as you can see, there's an error, but um, we can leave that for now anyway. It's not important. So we are ready to um, scan our first directory. So what we're going to do is we're going to scan the home folder which is everything that's in here. So how do we do that? Now, if we just want to do a recursive search, okay, all we need to do is go clam scan tag R for recursive and then home. Okay, so using the, the tag R is a recursive scan, so it will, it will show you every single file and folder that it's looking at. Um, in real time, so you can actually you can actively see that in the terminal window. So what we're going to do is we don't really want to see all that output. There's just no need for it. So we just want to see if there's any infected files. So what we will add to the tech, we'll go tech R and then the I for infected. Um, so if I ran that scan right now, it would scan through and just show me if there's any infected files. It, it won't do anything with them infected files. It would just alert me to the ones that are, you know that have been found. Um, what you can also do, if you wanted to, is you can add the remove, which is the, um, I'll show you here. You can add tac tac remove. Now, that will apps, that will just delete and destroy any files that it finds that it thinks are viruses. Now, that that's quite, you know, not, not very good for a system because obviously if it finds a file that maybe is a false positive or something like that, it can actually break your system. 
Um, it can, you know, it can delete files <laughs> which it shouldn't be deleting. I mean, obviously in the home directory, it's not going to be so bad. But if you're scanning on root or something like that, it could potentially knock out your system. So, a better way of dealing with it is to, is to move it to a folder. Um, you know, to move that virus into a folder which you can go back in and look at. And obviously, if it has, has any problems or detriment to your system, you can find that file file and, and and basically, you know, restore it back to where it should be and your system will boot up again or it will fix any problems that you, you you end up having. So we're going to have a folder. In fact, we'll, we'll do that first. So what we'll do is we'll create a folder, first of all, called virus. So as you can see now, we have a folder called virus. So we can we can move any viruses that it finds into this folder, which we can deal with later on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run our command, which will be clam scan tech r tech tech move equals. So we want this directory path here. So it's going to move any virus it finds into the virus folder. And now we need to put the directory that we want to scan. So we want forward slash home. And then we're going to run that command. This could take quite a while now um, to finish. So because it's going to scan all the directories and folders. And I haven't got a lot in my home folders that stand. So it shouldn't take too long to, to run a full scan. But obviously, if it finds anything now, it will move that into the virus folder. And as you can see, there's the recursive flag there showing us everything that was in there. So, and there's a summary at the end. Um, you can see it's got no viruses at the moment, which I expect is quite a new system that I've uh, set up. And um, so, yeah, but if it had found any, we would be able to go into our home folder now, into the virus folder, and we would be able to deal with that virus there and then. So if you're not really happy with you know being in a terminal um, and running commands, you can actually download the graphical user interface for um, Clam AV. It's called Clam TK. So what we're going to do is we're going to install that now and show you how to use that. So it's sudo apt install and it's Clam TK and then yes. So now that's finished, we're going to take a look at it. So, clam, oh, clam TK. Here we go. So from here, we can, as you can see, it's it's just like any other antivirus you'd have on any other system. So, you can update from here as well, and it tells you the signatures and update as well. You are configured to automatically receive updates, so they will come down automatically when the um, the cron job obviously runs on that uh, that's fine so um yeah so you basically can do everything from here you can look at your quarantines uh, and you can scan a directory so you can pick which directory you want say music so it'll be quick That's not a great start, really, is it? But it does work. I've used it before. There you are. No threats found. And that's a little introduction into Clam AV. Um, I think it's a useful tool. I use it on all my servers, um, as well as rootkit hunters and things like that, just to constantly look over it. But it just adds a little extra bit of security to your system and um, gives you a bit of peace of mind at times. Thank you for watching this tutorial today, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.